just arrived in my hotel in Amsterdam. I'm enjoying my room like right off the bat because I have an unbelievable view of the city. Yeah, so it's just a great view. I like how high I'm up. A nice big window, you know, compared to my last hotel that I was in. Uh, so I don't have to deal with any smell issues. Um, but one of the things here at this hotel uh, is called the Student Hotel. And I'm guessing it's because a lot of college kids stay here. Uh, I'm just guessing this because you know how in some hotels they leave chocolates on your pillow when you come in? In this one, they do something better. They leave you a condom because they're just automatically assuming that you're gonna have ass. They want you, or get ass, I should say. They just want you to spread that love. Um, spread it with whomever, whenever. And it must be because there are so many good looking people in the city, which there are. I witnessed it as I was coming here, that they just assume everybody's just gonna be, you know, having sex. It's, it's kind of them to provide some contraception to promote that, you know, safe sex life. It's officially my second day here in Amsterdam and today on the itinerary I will be touring the Anne Frank Museum, finally. Uh, gotta get your tickets ahead of time. And uh, I uh, will be taking a boat cruise tour. It's a uh, Airbnb experience, and I'm very excited about that. Right now, I am extremely hungry though, but I have no time to get anything to eat. So that's what I'm struggling with right now. I probably won't be able to film or photograph inside the museum, so I'll just see you after. You know what, they didn't have to put the polka dot shirt right in the front where I could see it, like right here. Why, why are they trying to tempt me? I don't even like shirts like this. <sighs> Control, willpower, I can do this. People, this Primark has six floors. Six floors. And yet I'm still trying my best not to buy anything but if there is a Primark in a city I'm in I am gonna look around okay okay I am gonna get this I do need this um, but they also have polka dot head like right? so, um, I'm trying to convince myself why I shouldn't get these but like really like why shouldn't I get them though they're only five euro. I'm just gonna walk around with them in my hand for a little bit. Just for a little bit. One minute, 37 seconds later. Okay, people, we're in trouble. We're, we reached a danger point. Um, I let go of the polka dot shoes, as you saw, right? But then they had these. Um, and in my size, because in the Primarks that I went to in the UK, they didn't have my size there. So I was like, oh, it's not meant to be. They have my size here. So. We're in dangerous territory right now, very dangerous. Oh, wait. Oh, this store's for babies? Oh, oh no. We ain't, we ain't going all there. We just we turn right back around. For a distant star, don't stop now. Isn't it strange to how we're safe from home? To the dark out and disappear in a second glow. If you're gonna break the shades, you have to let me know. Turn the shit around, just out of top the lungs. Is all you need to do.
my vacation is ending. The uh, plan for today is to get some food at the food court food hall in and to do some window shopping and probably real shopping around. And then tonight I will be going to another Airbnb experience. I'll be watching a like intimate private concert on someone's houseboat. Very excited about that. There are hundreds of reviews for this experience and all five stars. So I have a feeling this is going to be great. Um, a lot better than the cruise that I took yesterday, which overall, was very boring um, but it was nice to see the city from that different vantage point from the boat going through the canals and everything uh, but it was just really long two hours half the time the captain of the boat wasn't saying anything so we're just looking around not knowing anything about any of the areas that were passing or any of the buildings or anything so I didn't find it that interesting Oops, almost forgot to do my OOTD. So this is the blazer that I got from River Island in the UK in Britain. As y'all know, this has been my new favorite. I just, I love it. I love it so much. I love the cut. It's just beautiful. So this is the Zara linen top with the asymmetrical neckline that I showed you in my video. And these, the star of this outfit are my polka dot overalls from forever 21 i just love it um and then my shoes are my primark kids that i have also been rocking ever since i purchased so this is the ootd and if you're interested my earrings are also from forever 21 of the trip and um, where we are is creepy as hell I'm not even going to lie do you see do you see what I'm surrounded by it's very creepy I'm hoping it's going to be a great experience I got here like seven minutes early so they're not letting me in as they're doing sound check so I'm just walking around the creepy area and hoping I do not get snatched
was a great end to this Amsterdam trip. I have to go back to the hotel and pack my bags, which I'm not looking forward to, to be honest with you. I just want to say thank you so much for joining me on this European trip. Uh, it's one for the books for me. It's the most fun I've had in Europe. I've got to go on not one, but two dates. If you enjoyed this series of my Euro trip, please feel free to subscribe. I might be going out right now, meaning you won't be able to see me because it's not really the best lighting around here. Um, but please subscribe. Or you can follow me on Instagram at Leona Lynn Loves. And I will see you in the next video. Oh, I'm so happy about this trip.